Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little different. We are in my living room. I wanted to do a straight up like sit down chit chat. No beauty talk, no makeup, no anything like that. I want to kind of give you guys a little bit of like a life update, what's been going on lately. I've been super busy and I've been a little bit MIA from YouTube and social media. So I want to talk about all that stuff, why, what's been going on, and be completely open with you guys and just kind of be honest with you with what's been happening with me. So, so if you guys would like to hear a little bit about that, then go ahead and keep on watching this video. So right off the top, you guys know I am extremely open and honest on my YouTube channel. I talk about all kinds of mental health, things I'm going through. I've, I've just kind of been like an open book. I've always liked to share with people and be very real and raw. That's just me. That's how I am in my book. Like that's just how I am. And I, I feel like I appreciate when people are like that with me. So I always try to be really upfront and open with you guys because a lot of people can usually relate to the things you're going through. So I always try to put myself completely out there for the fact that one person out there might be able to relate to something I'm going through and connect with me and be like, oh my gosh, I'm not alone. It's really reassuring to see other people and know that they are going through and experiencing and struggling with the same things you are in life. So, so that's the reason I always like to keep it real and keep it 100 with you guys because that's how I roll. So of course we're gonna start off talking about the book. Um, if you are new to my channel or if you haven't seen yet, I self-published my first book three weeks ago. The book is called Sober As you can find it on Amazon and on Kindle. Literally, if you type it out sober as F-U-C-K, the whole curse word, it will pop up on there. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank every single person that has bought this so far. For a self-published first-time author, which it's kind of weird for me still to even call myself an author, just because I've only written this, I... I guess I'm an author? I don't know. It's kind of weird to even classify myself as that, because I've never seen myself it has that in life. I've never worn that hat yet, but I guess I'm putting that hat on now. So author, I guess. But for a first time, like first anything, in my first two weeks, I sold over 130 copies. It's been three weeks now. I'm well over 150. I don't have an exact count at this moment, but I, that is just so overwhelming to me because I wanted this to do so well and although that's like a really low number to some people probably like that's nothing compared to people on like the New York Time bestseller list but to me the fact that 150 people more than 150 people have bought my book so far and are reading my story is mind-blowing like I knew everyone that I knew I have a very supportive group of people in my life I have amazing friends and family and I knew that they would all buy it because they have always been so supportive and amazing of everything I've done. But my whole idea behind this book is that I wanted it to reach people like me that were going through something like I went through to connect to it. And I can say in the last three weeks, I've had a small handful of people that have sent me messages on either Instagram or an email or on Facebook and have been like, hey, I hope this isn't weird. I don't know you, but I found one of your videos on YouTube. I just quit drinking. I'm having a really hard time with it. I just ordered your book, and I'm really excited to read your story. That, the first time that happened, I was like, oh, that is what I wanted this book to be. And when it came full circle like that the first time, I feel like I just took this like deep like exhale, and I was like, oh, like, it's actually doing what I wanted it to do. And that was just such an emotional moment for me. It was so overwhelming. It's crazy. Like I'm pen paling like through DMs right now with a couple of girls specifically on Instagram that are, you know, they're at their rock bottom and I'm kind of talking them through their rock bottom, which is mind blowing to me that two years ago, that's where I was. And now I'm able to use what I've gone through to kind of talk someone else through theirs and I can say right now that I have never felt so overwhelmingly humbled and grateful for the experience I went through and that I'm actually getting the chance to share my story and do some good with it. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys because you know, like I said, I always am. The day I launched this book, I put out that video. It was my two years over anniversary. I was so heavily concentrated on the book launch and I was so nervous and excited for it. The day I launched Sober as Fuck on my two year anniversary, I had probably one of the worst anxiety attacks I've ever had in my life. And I am not trying to like be dramatic and I can firmly say like it was the worst anxiety attack I've ever had. I was sitting at home, you know, I was working really hard to get everything posted and 
everything listed on the blog and the website and the Facebook page and the YouTube video up. And I was so concentrated on it. And I think I, while I'm really, I, I really wanted to release it on my two year date. So it had that symbolism to me. That was kind of like a celebration that I had made it two years and I was putting it out on the same date. It was very symbolic for me. But I think all of that on the same day was just extremely overwhelming for me. Literally, I was sitting here and I was typing something online on something for it and I had been working all day and I realized all of a sudden like my heart started beating really, really fast and I felt like I had like a lump in my throat and I felt this like, like I wanted to be like rocking almost and I was like, oh my God, why am I so nervous right now? And... I just felt so like I was like I've got to get out of here and so I went and actually ran on the treadmill and did a workout because I was like I felt like I just had to like work through whatever was happening um, and I was fine after that I think it was just so many emotions in one day I was like am I even acknowledging my two years of sobriety because I've been so focused on this book because I've been so passionate on it it just all hit me really hard all at once I can honestly say that while I was so excited to put this out when I actually put it out and I think I realized that everyone was going to know everything I got a little taken aback for a minute like I got a little nervous and I was like oh god like what if something goes wrong what if this doesn't do well what if something like bad comes out of this or what if people start judging me and I just had so many worries and I was so anxious about it but I can say like my family and my friends were amazingly supportive I got so many text messages so many screenshots of orders if you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen I've been sharing some of my screenshots that people have sent me um, when they have bought the book or while they're reading it and it is just so so crazy to me to see it all happening. I couldn't be more excited about it and I couldn't be more grateful that so many people are actually buying this book. I, it just blows my mind. Like a couple weeks ago I didn't have a book and now people are buying it. So a couple other things I've posted on my social media. If you've missed any of them, I'll link them all down below in this video. Um, so about a week after the book released, one of my biggest inspirations in life, in entrepreneurship, in girl boss motivation everything has been one of my favorite authors you guys have heard me talk about her before on here her name is Kara Alwaleba she wrote girl code and Kara reached out to me and asked if I wanted to be on her style your mind podcast and I listen to this podcast weekly like I listen to it all the time and when she messaged me asking if I wanted to be interviewed for it I was like Girl, yes, like get me on there. So I was super nervous about it, but it went amazing. We had like a babe chat and talked about the book and my journey in sobriety and all that stuff. And I've had so many girls reach out that have heard it and um, listened to the podcast and then bought the book and sent me a message to let me know, which has been awesome. And then the other thing that I've done in the past two weeks which has made this all kind of like a whirlwind for me, is a friend of mine is part of a women's group that meets weekly, and she asked me if I would come in and talk about the book and talk about my sobriety with the group. And I can tell you, like, that anxiety attack, like, started to creep back in because I was like, I've never talked in front of people like that. It's very different talking in front of people than talking to your computer like this <laughs> because it's not like I'm actually talking to thousands of you guys right now. So I was like, oh my gosh, like, is anyone going to be there? Like, what if it's a ton of people? What if it's nobody? What if nobody wants to listen? What if nobody cares? And a million thoughts went through my head and I'm like, what if I screw it up? What if I stumble on my words? I've never done that type of public speaking before where it was all me and I wasn't being like told what to say or something. So I was secretly terrified of this meeting. I'm not gonna lie. I was super nervous about it. And I went and the women were so welcoming. They listened to my story. They asked questions and shared their stories with me. And I will say that evening has hands down been one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had in my life. To be in a room with a group of people that want to hear you talk and want to hear your story and that's part of the reason why they're there it just blows my mind I was just so incredibly moved by the whole situation I've never felt so much of that feeling like you're in the right place at the right time like this was where you were meant to be as I did that night um, at the end of the meeting one of the women was like can we pray for you and I'm a very spiritual religious person so I said absolutely we all sat in a circle and like the overwhelming emotions I felt at that moment made it so clear to me that this is exactly what was supposed to happen. Like I had never felt so at home as I did in that moment. And women I didn't even know were 
praying, thanking God for keeping me safe and for spreading my message and, you know, help her to go out and reach more people with her message. And people were crying and I started crying, like my eyes started well up. I was about to be sobbing with them. It was just such an emotional, I don't even know how else to describe it. Like I've never felt that way in my life. And it was one of the most incredible evenings in my life. I'm so glad I went outside of my comfort zone and I did it because they always say like the things you fear most are the things that will be your greatest accomplishments, that everything magical happens outside of your comfort zone. And this time I can firmly agree with that, that this was one of the most amazing experiences of my life and I was absolutely terrified of it before I went in. So as you guys can imagine, it's been a quite emotional few weeks for me. I've reached two years in sobriety. I launched my book and I've been sharing it with people and everybody knows everything now. I've been making connections with amazing women and it's just been extremely emotional for me. I've had some other personal stuff kind of going on at the same time and I, when I get really stressed, when I get very run down and overcome with emotion, I tend to pull away and retract from people. So I've been spending a lot of time focusing on self-care I've started writing my second book and I am so excited about it. So I've really been throwing myself into that the last few weeks and really using what I'm going through to channel those raw emotions into my writing. When I finished this book, I immediately missed writing and I never in a million years thought that would happen. I've never been a writer, but I missed writing and I was like, I need to keep writing. Like I want to do more. So I am currently working on my second book. It's going to be a while before it's out, so don't expect it to come anytime soon. But I'm really excited with everything I'm putting into it, and I think it'll be really great for not only women, but like anyone out there. I just really think it's going to be great, and I'm excited to work on it and share it with you guys too. So I've been a little MIA. I've been dealing with some stuff. I've been trying to focus on some self-care to keep myself healthy and working and, you know, going 100 if you have not ordered the book, I will link everything down below of where you can order it. And also, if you have ordered the book or you are reading it or have read it, please, please, please leave an Amazon review afterwards because I know I'm a review junkie and I know a lot of people like to read reviews and I would really like to get your guys' feedback on things. I'm going up north to my family's place in northern Michigan on a lake next week, so I'm finally going to have some time to like relax and chill and recharge and get back in my normal grind mode. So I'm excited to go up there, come back refreshed, real chill, and get ready to rock on things again. I haven't decided if I'm going to vlog while I'm there since I kind of want to use it as time to relax and I probably won't be like getting ready that much. But if you guys would like to see maybe a little vlog of what it's like up there, comment down below and I will, you know, make just a quick easy one, nothing too crazy, but so you guys can kind of see what it's like when I go up north, I'm taking my chihuahua, my mom is bringing her chihuahua, and we will be taking them to the dog beach. And it is her chihuahua's first time, so it may be entertaining. So we'll see. Other than that, I don't really think I have anything else to say today. So thank you guys so much for watching and for always being supportive. I'm sorry I've been a little MIA on social media lately, but I promise I will be back. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you do not miss anything else. My face will be on the screen somewhere here per usual. If you click it, you will be subscribed and I will also have some other videos for you guys to check out. Make sure you guys are following me on all my other social media because even if I'm not active on YouTube, I'm always on Instagram and sometimes I'm a little more active on Snapchat. It just depends how I'm feeling. But you guys can always catch me on Instagram. I'm on there all the time. But other than that, I don't think I have anything else to say. So until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.